the other one that I would like to share in terms of a longer term perspective is uh, a US stock, right? Um, and this is AT&T. Hey, I think last week I briefly mentioned about this. Um, yeah, can't recall is it with you guys here during the daily life or with uh, the investing community, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this uh, here again today, okay? Because I'm really looking at this as well. Um, Intel, I'm not sure if you're in, but um, basically we are in on Intel, right? So this is more like dividend investing, not so much of trading. Uh, for Intel, okay, for at and it's still the same, it's more for dividend investing, okay? Uh, but we are incorporating a, a different, kind of like a holistic analysis approach to understand uh, where we're gonna get in, do we want to buy into and invest into that company? Okay, so at and uh, let me bring you to like the, the bigger picture analysis first, right? So you get an idea of the framework that we're using to analyze um, our investment portfolio. Okay, uh, this is the e economic cycle, right? Or you can call it the business cycle. Basically what we do is uh, we want to understand which phase the economy is. And then uh, from there, we kind of know which sector tends to perform better relative to the other. Okay, so I'm going to keep it short. I won't walk through every detail, right? Um, that's not the objective today, but uh, to give you the understanding so you appreciate how I come to picking up at and okay? So you take a look at this right now, uh, we are in a transition between a technical full recession to an early recovery as of now. Okay, um, hey, these are very systematic approach, right? So it's not a kind of like, oh, I feel that the economy is better. Um, there's no such thing. Okay, these are all based on very systematic uh, indicators that's from the economy to kind of determine whether we are in which space. Okay, so right now we are actually in a transition already towards early recovery. Um, and during this phase here, of course, the sector to focus on is more like industrial, basic industry and the energy sector. Okay, in the past, full recession was technology, okay, uh, where you can actually see, right, Zoom, uh, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Google, a lot of all these technology companies uh, are rallying to all time high, okay. But what you want to take note of right now is that the next few industry or sector to focus on will will be starting to shift okay so uh it might not be a very very good time to jump into like the apple hype okay um at least for now okay but if you're looking for longer term investment then you know that doesn't really affect you but if you're looking for like the sector rotation strategy into part of portfolio then uh, you want to consider that okay so just to give you a heads up on this okay and from there, I look into the fundamental, right? The quantitative scoring, which we look into the financial statements of the company. Okay, you can see right now, at and um, this chart here is not loading, okay? Um, yeah, I think a lot of tabs are running on my com, okay? So I'll give it a while. Okay, so you can see over here, at and the scoring of this is not very healthy, right? It's really like borderline five. It's like in the red zone, it's not, it's a company that you don't want to invest in. Okay, at and is almost there. Uh, but I'm not sure if you are aware or you are you know this company. Okay, AT and T is like one of the longest telecommunication company uh, that is in the US. Okay, and it's uh, in Singapore. It's something like maybe your Singtel, Starhub, right? Uh, in Malaysia, it's probably something like uh, I don't know, Maxis, Cellcom. Okay, uh, but of course, AT and T doesn't only do with telecommunication. Okay, they have been moving into like entertainment, media, wireless communication, and things like that. Um, I'm not going to go into detail of the fundamental part of the company, but I want to bring your attention to the part where such a big company right now is affected by the recent years economy. Right, uh, it's not doing that well, but it's a huge company with some history and track record. Okay, so the idea here is. It's not a close to eye and invest kind of company, right? Uh, like Intel, the scoring was 20. So it, it to me, it was like a close to eye, look for opportunity, look for the for the right price and then just invest into it, right? For Intel. Uh, but at and is not that, okay? But I'm sharing with you over here, the opportunity here is a potential turnaround company. Okay, so what I mean by turnaround company is that it's doing badly, okay? Uh, the price is falling, but if this company has the ability and eventually in the future turn around okay, and uh, starts to improve in its business. Uh, that's where 
you'll be able to scoop up a very low price and uh, benefit throughout the phase where this company starts to improve and the business starts to turn better. Okay, so that's the idea of it. And of course, uh, for me, I focus a lot on companies that pay dividend and of course the company where their dividend is increasing okay, uh, con consistently. That means there's a track record that they keep increasing their dividend. Okay? So at and definitely fulfilled that part in the dividend portfolio. Okay? But the only thing here is of course their numbers are not looking nice. Okay, so what I did is I did a valuation over here as well. Okay, so you can see this one here. I'm using the DDM. I just ignore this one here. Uh, I'm focusing on the discounted dividend model. Okay, so their annual dividend on at and was uh, around $2.08. Uh, based on the calculation and the formula to value this based on DDM, right? Uh, the IV is actually at $35. Okay, uh, that's based on the expected dividend growth rate of 2% per year, which they have been doing it for the past 10 years or so. Okay, um, so with that, the IV is $35 and the current market price for at and was $27.34. Okay, so in other words, you are actually right now already trading at a discount. Okay, uh, if you take a look at this here, um, that's a, close to a 30% discount, right? So to me right now, this is the area price area that it's worth taking a very close look at it already because it's already undervalued okay based on the dividends that they are paying up okay so for that if i look at the technical charts right so with all those i know that number one this is a potential turnaround play uh in terms of sector rotation right now the economic cycle might help you know at and a little bit Okay, and uh, based on the valuation model right now, we are at a discount, okay, which means it's a good time to actually take note of this. Okay, so from a technical point of view, this is on a four-hour time frame. Huh? Okay, we are very near towards this previous low. Okay, and what I really like about it is how it's reaching that low, right? Very, very slow. Okay, even right now here, it starts to slow down a little bit more. Okay, so uh, that might form a potential double bottom, and uh, from there, it can start to rally up. Okay, uh, that's one potential that I'm monitoring. Of course, if I bring you to the daily, though, you want to take note that uh, it has another significant low in the past. Okay, um, let me scale out to a weekly so that it's clearer for all of us. Okay, you can see that uh, in the past, it has even reached this low around $20. Okay, so how am I gonna, how am I gonna invest into this, right? I'm definitely looking at, at entering. It's more of like when, okay? Is the timing now or do I wait um, to enter, okay? Uh, the idea here is I'm gonna look for my first entry somewhere around $26, but I'm prepared that this can drop all the way to $20, okay? So with that, of course, I'm not gonna, you know, if I'm prepared to, let's say, invest, uh, for example, right, 5,000 into AT&T, I'm not going to throw in 5,000 and enter all 5,000 here. Okay, I'm going to probably split it like here, 1,005, and then here I'm going to enter at 3,005, okay? Uh, that's the idea behind it. You get roughly, that's, that's, that's a very rough number, okay? But you get the idea. So the idea here is the first position, I'm going to take a smaller one, and uh, if it drops further, I'm going to go in much bigger, right? But having in mind that I've already pre-planned what's my total position I'm prepared to go in. Okay. And of course, from a technical point of view, right, because this right now, the fundamental of this in terms of quantitative number is not a high scoring one, right? It's, it's very low. Okay. So in terms of technical, I, I am not going to enter immediately here. Okay. What I want to see is that impulse push and a small mini correction, and then I'll be looking to enter at the breakout. Okay. So that's a little bit combination in terms of using the backdrop information the background information of how well this company is doing in a fundamental perspective uh i'm gonna add in the technical entry technique okay to protect myself as well okay so the idea here is of course if this just keep dropping then i won't be getting in okay so what i want to see is it breaks this low it gives us an impulse and then it starts to form a correction i'll look for the breakout okay very simply uh, and of course, this year also includes, uh, it doesn't need to break, right? So we are just anticipating that it will break, okay? Um, I'm looking at right now, this would be a good breakout entry price, right? Around $28.50, okay? Uh, 